Yes, yes, and I really would like to connect a writing campaign with 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 that. We actually talked about it. You can you can talk to that light skin lady about what your organization is. Well. Um, no, 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 right on the other side. Yep, right. Yep, and because I want her to know what your organization does. Because we already talked about wanting to do it, and so I would love for you to be able to help us close the gap. Definitely. One thing I wanted to ask you quickly was, I think you're the Senate Judiciary Committee. Yes, sir. I used to chair the committee, and I took um, the committee around the ten different institutions. We then used that work. Uh, with the Justice Center to create the justice reinvestment effort that happened in Wisconsin that identified what we needed to do to change our system. And then since then, now we're dealing with the IRIS program where we're going to have four institutions that we actually work with 600 people who are re-entering, create the new box of what re-entry is going to look like in Wisconsin. And then most recently, just last week, I got appointed to the Reducing Recidivism Committee and moving the barriers to the entry. And so I'm really excited because I think we're going to be able to do some work there. It really is. Yeah. It really is. So I this re-election for me is way beyond me because if someone else was in the seat, they're not going to get those spots. And they, and they can't take the wisdom and the information and all that I've been able to do. James said it best. You know, um, but that's I ain't awesome. going nowhere. That's, that's awesome. I'm gonna spend that's my that's also here, you brought up baby. Lincoln. Yeah, that's yeah. why you gotta be you gotta be Lincoln So the other question is related yeah. though. Is that right now uh, like you know people are like are they striking the pond to be a Yes, so we've been engaged in that myself and Representative Evan Boyd. Yeah. We yeah. actually wrote a letter, we also talked to DOT yeah. to ask them to make sure that they were at least, you know, drinking water to monitor exactly. them yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. So since they wouldn't buy the bottled water for them since it was contaminated. That we just spoke last week about connecting with them and saying, well, can we send bottles? Yeah. You know, can yeah. we purchase bottle bottles? So what did the deal right say? So they, we didn't we, we have not gotten we've not been able to do that piece. Yeah. But after that, the next thing that we forced to so yeah. we've not been able to make that connection yeah. since we spoke, I think it was last week. Wait, so what has sort of been your experience dealing with your city? Are they like so medicine? It, so they, I'm on my fifth secretary of the Department of Corrections yeah. and um I would say that it's never an easy process, right? But I will say that I like that this secretary seems to be more connected to reentry in a way that I think is powerful. Um, however, when you get done, there's so many pieces that are broken in the system. And the staff, the, the lack of staff, the training for staff, the cultural competency, the, the lack of diversity, all that's an issue. The program, how much programming is available. The fact that we have a program for six months before you get out, you're supposed to have help with your portfolio. But it's not happening because I got people re entering and they ain't got nothing. The gentleman just got a few folks. We have somebody connect with our office um, last week. He'd been two weeks out. He didn't have an ID. He didn't have health insurance. He didn't have a skill. I mean, and he's literally from foster care to corrections, juvenile corrections, and adult corrections. What did we provide?